Hey, Val here. There are 16 resources on Serpilo and Minor Three, and today we're going to be covering all of them. Starting from the top. Copper and lead are both gotten during Ground Zero. Not a problem. Titanium is gotten in Sector 175 just north and east of Ground Zero. You're going to need to beat the Frozen Forest before you can get the Titanium, though. The Frozen Forest can be a little tricky, so in order to beat it, you're going to need to mine coal and get graphite so that you can research Scorches in the Ark for the highest chances of survival. The Ark is a really good turret for dealing with a lot of the Rift Raft ground troops. This early, your only real option is to use combustion generators to power them. It's a good idea to place this on the battery so that there's backup power. Combustion generators don't really produce a whole lot. So now that you've beaten the Frozen Forest and gotten Titanium, you can either go northwest to Sector 222 and then Sector 85 to get Thorium early, or you can go with the campaign and beat the Craters first. They're not mutually exclusive. But remember, the Guardian and the Crater is airborne, so make sure to set up a lot of scatters. Just to smooth things out in case you're new, coal looks like this, sand looks like either this or this, oil looks like that, all water is obviously blue, thorium looks like that, titanium looks like this, and scrap looks like that. Alright, now at this point in the tutorial, I'm assuming you've beaten both Sector 85 and the Craters. Now, onto the manufactured stuff. Graphite is made with coal and can be made after beating Ground Zero. Graphite is used a lot, and a single graphite press doesn't make nearly enough, so make sure you have a lot of them. The highest amount of graphite presses I could put together looked like this. Yeah, not great, but it does the job. Silicon, made with sand and coal, is the most important resource in the game, hands down. So make sure you keep the production strong. The best production I had looked like this. Metaglass is made with sand and lead. I personally recommend setting that up on Sector 222 because of the abundance of sand and lead, but the craters are really anywhere with those resources works too. A decent factory of metaglass looks something like this. Plastanium is made with titanium and oil, and comes out of a plastanium compressor. I personally use Sector 85, but you can use whatever sector fits the criteria. In order to research the plastanium compressor, you gotta beat the windswept islands. Face fabric, made with sanatorium, is good for more advanced hard work, but can only be researched after beating the tar fields, which comes after beating the islands that are windswept. Best factory I could make looked like this. Surge alloy, made with lead, copper, titanium, and silicon, is a really expensive resource, so don't be ashamed if you're low on it. This is the biggest factory I can make this stuff. It's small, I know, but it works. Spore pods are made with water and power. Just place them anywhere and watch them produce. No, really, it's that easy. Pyrotype is made with lead, sand, and coal. It's only used for ammo or fuel for the differential generator, so it isn't that important. I personally double down to blast compound whenever I'm making pyrotype. Speaking of, blast compound, made with pyrotype and spore pods, is excellent ammo and is the only fuel for impact reactors. Either the kindest or cruelest style in the entire game. Also, don't put them in combustion generators. They're called Blast Compound for a reason. And that's that. Thanks for watching the video. Sorry for being away so long, I was under the weather and had to take a break from YouTube for a bit. But, now I'm back. And I hope you enjoyed.